What's going on guys and welcome to the 36th video in this Java programming series. In this video we are going to cover something called recursion. So this is a pretty difficult concept that um, if you have never run into before is going to be pretty hard to understand. So um, after this video if you don't understand it I would encourage you to look up recursion in um, online on Google and just get a lot of explanations of it and a lot of examples just to kind of get a better understanding of it. But to, to kind of demonstrate recursion, we're going to create a, um, a factorial method. So it's going to be a method that gives us, uh, just for a quick review of factorial, if you guys need it, factorial just means if we do factorial of five, for instance, we're going to get um, five times Four, five times four times three times two times one and it returns that result and that's what a factorial is. So let's just uh, create the method stub right here. What recursion is is it means that within your method call, so within the method that you create you're actually going to call the method itself so it's going to loop back around and it's going to kind of keep calling the method over and over again until you reach something called a base case. So we're going to create our factorial method. We want it to return an integer. And we're going to say factorial int num. So the number that we pass in, we want to factorial that number. Let's see what's going on here. It's just um, saying I need to add a return statement. And we'll do that in just a sec. So with recursion, you always have something called a base case. So I'm going to say um, if num equals 1, return num and actually I think it'll just be easier if I just kind of write all this out and then explain it because um, the second part I want to go over first so else I'm going to say return num times factorial num minus one so this is where you're seeing the um, the actual method getting called within the method itself um, the reason you have a base case is if you didn't have this base case and you just said return um, num times factorial num minus one, this is going to go into an infinite loop. And infinite loops are terrible because you get the program gets stuck in the infinite loop. It doesn't do anything else. It keeps trying to do this thing that's totally useless. And infinite loops are no good. So if you call a method within another method that's the same method you're calling from, that's a lot of times I just said method, but you're going to get an infinite loop and it's going to be bad business. So that's why you have this base case, which means um, it's going to start with that number five and it's going to go down to four, go down to three, go down to two, go down to one. And then it's going to kind of loop back. It's going to come back up that, um, that five time loop and return your factorial value. And so let's just test this out really quick. Then we can go through um, a little bit more specifically what's going on um, as we kind of loop through this factorial method. So I'm going to say system.out.println. Let's do the factorial of 4. So 4 times 3 is 12, times 2 is 24, times 1 is 24. So we're going to do factorial 4, and we know this is equal to 24. So we'll do factorial 4 in here just to print this out and see what's going on. And you're going to see we get this value of 24. So let's do um, 5 now. So we know 24 times 5, we can just do the, do the factorial of 4 times 5 to get the factorial 5, and that's going to be 120. So we know, we know factorial 5 equals 120. It's actually printed already down here on the console. So we know our factorial method is working. Let's kind of go through all the steps, though, that's um, happening with this factorial method. So you see let's say we're doing the factorial 4 again. So it's jumping into this method and it's saying, okay, um, is 4 equal to 1? No. Move on to the next statement. And So it's in this else statement right here. And now it's saying, okay, so return the number we have right now, which is 4, times factorial num minus 1. So now we're going passing in factorial 3. So it loops back up is three equal to one? No, it's not. Comes back to this right here. So it does three times factorial num minus one, so factorial two. So now we have this, this value right here. And it's gonna keep looping back around until eventually it gets down to one. It's gonna return the value of one. 
and you're going to get the value of 24 in the end when it returns back up the loop and multiplies all these numbers together. So I remember when I was first learning recursion, it was like brain racking and it was super like, um, it was just weird to get used to. If you guys don't completely understand this, I would suggest um, maybe looking up some other resources here for learning recursion on Google or something. But that's going to be the basic introduction for this series. And um, we're getting pretty close to the end here. Actually, I think um, in the next one or two videos, uh, this is going to be the end of the Java series. And I'm going to kind of talk about a few things where you guys can go from there. So that's going to be it for this video, though. I'm talking a lot. So thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.